What's up guys, Falcon here again. Want to show you this AC issue I'm encountering and just gonna give you a quick rundown on what needs to be done to fix it. Not gonna go into a lot of detail, but basically compressor is not kicking on. I already went through, checked out, make sure the compressor was good, make sure the high pressure and low pressure switch are good. Um, basically what's going on in this O3 Mustang is it has like a, almost like a miniature computer relay box right here on the fender passenger side fender inside here we have a computer down there and it's right here so what I had to do was drill out two rivets that he has right here and one right here took out this cover right here so here you have, I believe, is your fuel pump relay, your AC, um, your fan relay. This small relay right here is actually your um, clutch or compressor relay for your AC. Now this relay here, they're not, you're not gonna find it at the parts department or at the dealer. They'll have, they'll want to sell you the whole box, which is roughly over 300 bucks. So found this relay right here from Radio Shack part number 2750031 right here which is technically the same relay so what I'm gonna do now take out these two rivets here right here um, I'm gonna have to clean out all the around here solder it off of here solder the new one in here and we should be ready to go. Once I get closer in here, I'll show you where it's burned out. I don't know if you can. You can see one of the legs right there that I guess got too hot, burned out. But I'll show you when I take it off. All right, here we go. Took out the rivets from the corners. So I'm looking at this relay, if you look at it down here, you can see where it burned off. And actually, if you look at it close enough, you can see where it got so hot that the solder is actually not touching the relay anymore. Therefore, not engaging. So, relay basically just fell on the inside. So, I'm going to solder off these five points right here. And take it off. Um, you'll see this goo here. So, I'm just going to scrape it off all around here very careful not to damage the actual board scrape it off same thing on the other side but the heat of the solder will actually melt all this off right here take it off and I'll put the, install the new one right here we go solder the new one in so now put it back in here since we took out the rivets what I'm going to do is Grab some small bolts with nuts and then put them right here. That way it will be tight in there, so it'll be fine. And then install it. Now we'll just double check that everything works fine. Thanks for watching. So there you go guys, you spend the $5, replace that one relay, no need to spend 300 bucks on it. And there it goes, hope you help somebody out, thanks.